When I first tested the new RAV4 last year, it was apparent that Toyota had infused it with a real dose of SUV. Now, other than Jeep, this class generally puts four-wheeling on the back burner. But this one here has some real chops, so Toyota has taken it a step further. This is the new RAV4 TRD Off-Road. Toyota Racing Development, or TRD for short, was founded in the U.S. in 1979 and was put in charge of improving production vehicles for more performance. But it wasn't until 1997 that customers could buy a Tacoma straight from the dealer that was outfitted with TRD parts, and thus the TRD off-road package was born. Flash ahead to 2020, and Toyota offers three TRD off-road models, Tacoma, 4Runner, and now the RAV4. Unlike the TRD Pro models, the off-roads are more tepid in their approach. When the RAV4 was redesigned last year, Toyota introduced an adventure model equipped with additional ground clearance, a more advanced all-wheel drive system, rugged appearance, and greater towing capacity. The biggest difference between this TRD and the less adventurous adventure grade is that this one comes equipped with shocks and springs that are designed to better handle rough terrain. It also includes new bump stops for a smoother ride and better protection of your components. And of course, you also get these TRD wheels and off-road tires. With the same 8.6 inches of underbody clearance, torque vectoring all-wheel drive system with multi-terrain select, downhill assist control, and 3,500 pounds trailer towing, the TRD is a little chunkier looking, comes in exclusive colors such as this magnetic gray with ice edge roof, and includes hill start assist control. Inside, there are TRD all-weather floor mats and cargo mat, and some amazingly comfortable seats wearing black soft techs with the TRD logo. So while there's nothing all too off-road crazy going on here, this RAV4 is certainly more capable than the vast majority of its competitors, with the Jeep Compass and Subaru Forester being the outliers. These new Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires are likely the TRD's most distinguishing attribute in that they provide the footwear needed to tackle the trail without sacrificing open road drivability. They're also severe snow rated. The bird's eye view camera with perimeter scan is also another ace in the hole for both sizing up obstacles and parking spaces. And though there's no low range gearing, the slow speed drive modes tailored for mud and sand and rock and dirt do well to set the driver up for success. You can monitor the torque distribution up here. As for the TRD suspension components, they don't stand out as anything extraordinary on or off-road. I'd describe the ride quality as okay. So the engine is the RAV4's missing link. It's kind of slow, incredibly noisy, and paired to a transmission that's not normally doing it any favors. So the TRD off-road is kind of a Jekyll and Hyde experience. You're going to love driving it out here, but less so anywhere else. Same complaints as my first time around, but perhaps a little stronger. This 203 horsepower four cylinder has to pull the most weight here, and its asthmatic sounds and deliberate acceleration start to grate on you. Combine that with poor highway manners and lots of wind noise, and the TRD will have you wishing for more mud time, where it's a joy to drive out here. This one is also the least fuel efficient RAV4, rated at 27 mpg in combined driving. Loaded with all of the extras, including the really cool two-tone roof, this RAV4 stickers for $41,485. And that includes the best front seats in the segment, hands down. They're upholstered in a synthetic material that's both soft and really supportive. They're absolutely perfect. But this lofty price does not include a height adjustable passenger seat or memory settings. Yeah, there's some sticker shock here despite the nearly fully loaded flavor. Though the infotainment is CarPlay compatible and simple, the graphics look low res and the screens are dim and hard to see in sunlight. The driver assistive features are also robust, but the dynamic cruise control with lane keep assist is perhaps the crudest on the market. I also wish some of these buttons, like the one for the camera, were somewhere on the right for easier access. The rear seats are spacious and comfortable, 
and the cargo area equally well-sized with a power liftgate. But if this is the kind of small SUV fun you're after, a Jeep Compass Trailhawk may be a better bet and at the very least is definitely worth a look. For TestDriveNow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.